Hey, 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 hey! How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome to another Deliberate Millionaire stream! Lovely, lovely, lovely as always to come talk to you guys. Let me just um, get this set up completely. Hey, I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight, by the way. I am the Prosperity Minister. I support you in leaving behind the pain and the limiting stories of the past. I support you in rising victorious in your true design life. You deserve the best, guys. You really, truly deserve to live a free, fulfilled, financially abundant, and love-drenched life if you are willing. The question is, are you willing? Are you willing? Are you willing? Are you willing? So we're going to start by singing the affirmation. I am the one who overcame. I am strong. I am powerful. I can create the life that I want. Here we go. I am the one who overcame. Sing it about yourself. I am the one who overcame. <laughs> oh, we start again. I am the one who overcame. I am strong. I am powerful. I can create the life I want. Okay, so yesterday we started by talking, I was telling you guys about the fact that we sometimes pay so much attention to the circumstances or to the people who hurt us or who bring us down in whatever way or whatever, that we forget to give ourselves praise. We forget that actually we are the ones that overcame the nonsense that came at us, that we didn't allow it to eat us alive, that we didn't allow it to take us down. We kept walking, we kept standing, and we kept moving forward one way or the other, okay? And, 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 and to kind of continue on from that, I also wanted to, to remind you guys of this. And I tell my daughters this all of the time. No one can make you feel inferior without your permission. No one can make you angry without your permission. No one can make you sad without your permission. No one can do anything to you without, well, they, I mean, they can try and attack you or whatever. But in terms of your internal world, no one can do anything to that, to this precious place without your permission, okay? Now, what does that mean? I'm not denying or discounting the fact that people do crazy, horrible things sometimes. Most, some people do it very deliberately, absolutely, no doubt about that. But a lot of people, actually, they're just, co they're not consciously walking through life. They're not conscious at all. They're literally just kind of sleepwalking through life. And for a long time, most of us were that, those people too. We were sleepwalking through life, reacting to this, reacting to that, reacting to the other, whatever happened in our childhood, whatever this person did, whatever happened on the news, we were reacting, reacting, reacting. So then we do things to other people or say things to other people, but we're not aware where it's coming from. They're not aware where it's coming from. So then you, as the awakened soul, <laughs> get the opportunity to decide, am I going to allow this thoughtless comment, this thoughtless action that this other person over here did, am I going to allow it to steal my joy? Am I going to allow them to steal my ability to move forward? I would suggest that we stop giving other people permission to make us feel down. Let us stop giving people permission to imprison us in their crazy boxes, okay? Whatever is going on with them, it's like Jesus, when he was about to die, he said, you know what, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. A lot of the people around you do not know what they're doing. <laughs> Half of the time, you don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> We're all making it up as we go along. So yeah, we can choose to get angry with people for being crazy, but you need to recognize that for the most part, most people don't even know why they're doing what they're doing. They really don't. They really think it's logical and it's sensible to do the things that they do in the same in the way that they're doing it. And if you choose then to give your power to them, 
then you are the one that is then going on to imprison yourself because in theory we are deliberate people, we know better, right? Or, now that you've heard this, you know better. No one can make you feel anything. No one can make you feel anything. And this is why it's so important. You know how creative you can be when you're feeling good, when you're feeling happy, when you're feeling joy, when you're feeling connected to source, when you're feeling that internal peace. You know how much more creative you can be. You know how much more productive you can be. You know how much, how much happier life seems when you are in a good mood. So when you allow someone to steal your good mood, you are allowing them to steal your creativity, your productivity, you're allowing them to, to steal your ability to live a good life, you're allowing them to, to imprison you in a dark place that actually they have no power to put you there unless you give them permission. Don't give them permission. I know that sometimes people say things, do things that are hurtful. And I'm not even pretending that you're going to listen to what I say right here and it's all going to change in three seconds flat. I know it won't. But I want you to start to consider, where am I allowing other people to imprison me in a life that I don't even want? They don't know what they're doing. Why am I allowing them to take over my life? <laughs> Why am I allowing them? Why am I giving them my power? So I exhort you, my love, to take your power back and to stop allowing other people to imprison you. You are worthy of a very prosperous in all freaking areas of your life kind of life. But it's only if you are willing to claim it, to receive it, to stay in the place, to see the opportunities around you. But if you keep allowing circumstances and people to steal your joy and therefore bring you down to a place where you can't even see opportunities anymore, then honey, you are giving them permission to imprison you. Take back your freedom. Set yourself free. Let them live whatever way they're living. You get on and do what you're doing, okay? Because nobody has the ability to steal your joy without your permission. Don't give it to them. Okay, my loves? Listen, I'm inviting you to come to the next deliberate empowerment experience where I will be teaching you a simple strategy to heal your life. All of us have gone through stories. All of us have stuff past experiences, breakups, painful things happened here, there, and everywhere. And those things, if you're living from that place of pain, it will limit you. You need to be willing to do the internal work of healing. Come to this divine empowerment experience by messaging me the word empower. It's actually happening tomorrow at the time of this recording. Come live or get the recording. And message me the word empower and I'll get the details over to you. Also, share this video with someone else. People need to stop giving their power away. And you are in the position to introduce somebody else to the deliberate millionaire pathway to peace and plenty. You do deserve the best. Are you willing to claim it? That is the question. We're going to stop by singing the affirmation. I am the one who over I am the one who overcame I am strong, I am powerful I can create the life I want I am strong, I am powerful I can create the life I want Message me the word empower and I'll get the links over to you. And also, what's the word? Share this video with someone else. Until the next time, my loves, much amazing love. Go forth and prosper. You deserve the best. Okay? Bye.